Naima and De- Dixon, why do y'all want to come back? Because y'all, they- y'all, y'all can't come back. I, well, no, you guys have proved that you're not mature enough to have this discussion. How you doing, Haji? Hey, I'm doing- happy to be here again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, is there something that you might have wanted to touch on, or yes, uh, when you say yeah, Islam is, is false, like uh, I mm-hmm. believe Islam is the most uh, righteous religion out there. Righteous. Islam teach you how to live righteously. Islam is the most scientific book you could ever see on the face of the earth. Okay. The scientific revelations to this day, all the scientists have proven whatever Islam has, I mean, the book has come up with in the Quran that's mentioned to this day is, is, is true. It talks about the water cycle. No other book talks about it. It talks about the Big Bang Theory. No other book talks talked about that it. That wrong too. Talked about the Big Crunch Theory. No other book talked Gets about that wrong. Embryology. No other book talked about Gets it. that wrong. Talked about sir, uh, sir, uh, sir. the ozone layer. The Wait, major it's that wrong. Iron not being from here. Are you here to just shot all down. of that? So you guys are just here, just talking, talking, but you you have no facts whatsoever, and you bring the people that you know that are like can even debate you. And you okay, just, can you? Yes, I can. Okay, beautiful. So we have you here. Then prove us what's, what's wrong in this. In, in, yeah, in yeah, sure. Story. So you said two things. And uh, you said two things. Now, I'll let the brothers to see where they want to go with this because I, you know, uh, I, I'll jump in. Um, but you said that Islam is the most righteous religion. Yes. And it's the most, it has the most scientific book. Tell so whichever way y'all want to go with this, we can go ever, wherever you want to go. Just, Tell me just, all of these things that question. I've said. I'll just wrong. have one question for him. I just have one question. Um, ahead, Allah, Allah is the God of all the world, right? Yes. Okay. And you believe that during a progressive time, like after Muhammad, progressively, there would be Muslims living all around the world where they're going to be keeping the fast of uh, Ramadan, correct? Yes, I hope so, they do. They're from all around the world, correct? Yes, we hope they do. Okay. Now, when do you begin the fast of Ramadan? According to the moon sighting, depending on where you are, if the, someone comes, I mean, the, we let have... Me give a, you the, let me give you the verse, chapter 2, verse 187. Okay, I have my book in front of me. What do you want to say there? What is it? So what does it say there? Okay, let me open my book. Chapter 2, you said. No Surat al-Baqarah, right? Mm-hmm. And you said verse what? Ayah 187. 187. No, we're not kidding you. Surah 4, 187. <laughs> Okay, you mean like okay, okay. I'll I'll read the 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 English version of it. Okay, mm-hmm. it is made lawful for you to have sexual relationship with your wives on the night of uh, 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 Asum, which is fast. Huh? They are libas, body cover or screen or uh, sacking. Right? Enjoy the pleasure of living with them, as in the verse. For you and you are the same uh, for them. Allah knows uh, that you used to deceive your, uh, yourselves. So he turned to you, uh, I mean, uh, accept your repentance and forgave you. So now have sexual relation, uh, relations with them and seek that which Allah has ordained to you, uh, winning offsprings. Huh? And eat and drink until the white thread of, uh, meaning the white thread, the light of the dawn appears to you, distinct from the black thread. Okay, then complete the psalm, which is the fast, till the night falls. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So do you agree with this ayah? I totally agree with it. Okay. How would you counsel those that live in the northern and southern hemisphere? Those who are in the southern, northern hemisphere, you mean like if they are like, uh, like for example, if you are living somewhere in the, uh, let's say, uh, northern, northern Siberia, Sweden, whatever that is, and then you northern, happen to have not Siberia, uh, northern Sweden, right? Yeah, northern North Sweden, Greenland, where the days are fall Sweden, short sometimes, Alaska, right? Alaska, yeah, friend, Alaska, right? Yes. Where where there's where during the times of Ramadan when yes. it normally falls 
It's almost 23, sometimes 24 hours a day. You got uh, yes, 24 uh, right. hours a day. Then yeah. in that case, the ruling of Islam is whatever they agreed upon. Because Allah say, La Allah doesn't uh, 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 tell you to do something that's beyond your capacity. If you cannot fast until from the dawn to the dusk, then you can fast look at the the world of Islam, how people are fasting, the number of hours, and fast those hours, and Allah is going to forgive you. He did not tell you okay, to How do we know that? How do we know that? Hours, 24 hours. Yeah, friend, friend. They have scholars. Let me tell yeah, you. Friend, just, friend, hold on, but hold on one second. Let me speak. Hold on one second. Calm down. One second. One second. Okay. The reason why I brought it up is mm -hmm. you would think if Allah is the God of the earth, He yes. would have foreseen this issue and he would have directed it, but it shows and proves that it seems like he's the God of Mecca and Mecca alone. No, not Mecca, Mecca alone. Let me tell you, Allah okay, Medina tells the people who are like you, who can think for themselves. He tells you when he started the book, he said, Iqra, okay? That's how our book started, meaning read, do your research. And in many times, Allah talks in the book that he, sa he says he talks to people with knowledge, pe people that can do research, meaning ishtihad. So Islam, uh, I mean, the book doesn't come and tell you do things A. Uh, uh, no, it actually doesn't. No. No. When you talk, I'll let you talk. Let me develop. So just okay. like any book, it doesn't tell you do this A and B and C. Doesn't? It's not like a, an instruction book where you go with A, B and C. Sometimes Good. you have to use your knowledge. You have to okay. use what's, uh, 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 your mental capacity to come up with a solution. And if you guys agree upon to fast eight hours a day or 12 hours a day, if you live in that part of the world and all of you agree up, then be it. And Allah will accept it and will forgive you. At least you've, you've done the fast. Who says? Yeah, who says? That's your tafsir. Chapter 16, verse 89 of the Quran. I'm going to tell you because you said that it doesn't explain every. The Quran does not explain everything, right? That, 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 so, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you're talking over me. Now you're I'm talking sorry, over me. Go ahead. No problem, friend. No problem. Thank you, man. I know this can get passionate. Um, so in chapter 16, verse 89, it says, "And the day when we will resurrect among every nation a witness over them from themselves, and we will bring you as a witness over these." And we have sent down to you the book as clarification for all things and as guidance and mercy and good tidings for the Muslims. Again, and we have sent down to you the book as clarification for all things and as a guidance and mercy and good tidings. That's chapter 16, verse 89, chapter 10, verse 37, chapter 12, verse 111. All of these verses prove that the Quran is sufficient in and of itself to for all things in regards to righteousness. Chapter 6, verse 126. I mean, I can go on and on. Yes. So, so on, that Quran, note, on that note, when it says right here in 1689, and we have sent down to you the book as clarification for all things as yes. a guidance and mercy and good tidings for the Muslims, mm -hmm. wouldn't that agree one of the chief and main pillars of Islam Ramadan of when you begin the fast and when you end it? Yes, for all things. He told you, for all things. Ramadan is just one of the pillars. It doesn't mean that, okay, you have to, st you leave certain parts of the world, right? And uh, the, the, the hour, the times of the fast does, like, it's not conducive for you to do, like, let's say, like, uh, 20 hours of, 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 of fast. In that case, Allah forgives you, he gives you a way out, just like I'm a Muslim. For example, it's forbidden for me to eat pork. It is forbidden, right? It is forbidden for me to eat pork. It is forbidden for me to take alcohol into my body. But, but there's circumstances, for example, I go out in a Christian country and there is nothing available but pork for me. In that case, Allah paves the way for me to eat that pork because it's a survival matter, okay? And he will, and he mentions it. He's gonna forgive you for doing that because it's a survival matter. Like I said in the beginning, now you can live Allah and saying Allah was Allah doesn't tell you. To he mentions it though. You said right. Means, okay. Yeah, you you said Allah mentions it though about the poor, correct? Yeah, he mentions it. So that means Beautiful. that. Does he mention this though? Like does said, he mention you, this? 
Let me tell does you. he mention this? He doesn't, but he, see, that in itself, he tells you Thank he's you. talking to people with minds. So if Allah okay. paves the way for you to drink and, I mean, to eat pork when you have no food to eat but that, why can't he allow you to fast 20 hours? No, no, no. Why can't he allow you to fast maybe 15 hours of the day or 12 hours of the day and then uh, break your fast? All right. Thanks for it's your simple. answer, man. It's Appreciate very it. simple. Very it simple. It is simple. It is. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. No, don't don't dodge the question. Keep coming. I have so many answers. No, no, for I'm you. good. Uh, maybe my brother, doctor, or somebody else wants to say something. I just, I'm good, yeah. bro. That's all. I just had that question. Thank these, you. These are like minor things that you guys focus on, and you try to make it a big problem. This is not a problem to me. Prove me wrong on on other things. Islam is the only religion that we're able to eradicate. I mean, would tell you to live righteously. No interest which is not good usually wait, 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 don't wait. drink alcohol how yeah. many people die every day as a result of alcohol yet we criminal we criminalize weed and other things but so many of you how many houses got shattered because of alcohol drinking huh how many relationships got shattered due to that islam tells how, you how no many, don't do it how many relationships are shattered and how many people are hurt when you engage in sexuality with prepubescent girls. Ooh. What, what you said again? When you uh, engage in what? And engaging in sexuality with prepubescent girls. What do you mean prepubescent girls? Can you make it, uh, 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 my English is not that, that because I'm African. So. Children, children. Children, who had, who had sex with children? Uh, your people. People. No, don't say your people. I never had sex with children. You, you over generalizing. Oh, we got rapists in the on, Christian hold community. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the people who are following Islam. Hey, hey real quick. So you have to say rapist. You have to say Gra I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that again. Sorry for my language. Right. You might have to kick him and bring him back up, though. Yes, you do. Could you drop and come back? No, right. so, don't drop me. Let's continue. No, you, you, can, you can. You have to drop and come back because that word isn't allowed on TikTok. Right. So what 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 we're gonna do when you come back is we gotta go to Surah sixty five four. We're gonna go to the text and we're gonna go to the Tafsir. Yeah, we can hear you. And the surah that you're coding, it, it is about divorce and marriage, and it's it, this the surah in specific has nothing to do with. Um, someone who's a child, it, it is basically trying to explain to you is that if you have married someone or then haven't touched them, they do not have a waiting period to get remarried. However, if you have engaged in sexual activities, then the, the person has to wait either if she's pregnant or if she hasn't menstruated yet a three month or a 12 month period so that she doesn't so that the father is known when they do give birth, so that she doesn't marry someone else and then have that um, you, you make that So that's what the surah is. But there's another thing which is very, very popular and a lot of people talk about it, <clears throat> is that the Prophet married a young woman, right? Or well, more people say child, right? Well, he so, married Aisha who is, yeah. who is so, nine years so old. So here's, here's the explanation. And I'll, I'll, I'll try to explain it as, as good as possible. And well, we're, 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 we, can, we can get to that. We yeah. can get to that. But we're specifically focusing on Surah 65.4. Yeah, Surah 65.4 is talking about adult women or women that have menstruated. It's not about children. Well, well, let's, it, well the, we, the reason why you don't see it is because well, you need to go to back in the Surah and take the whole context of the Surah, not take only the middle part. Because, because the Quran works in a way where it's the whole Surah needs to be read to be understood. I'm not trying to like argue with you. I'm just trying to explain to you that Surah in specific. That's how it works. Um, so, it's only, so it's only this surah that needs to be taken in the entire chapter. No, no, I'm saying the Quran in general, because there's some places in the Quran, for example, that will tell you, uh, go to war and kill, for example, right? But if you take it in the middle of the surah, then it doesn't make sense. And it, it'd be coded out of context where, oh, yeah, he said, go kill. And that's what people like ISIS do, right? But then when you read the whole surah, you go like, okay, so he said there was a war. This is what happened. This is why he allowed it to happen. You understand what I mean? Well, this is this is why we don't just simply read the passage. We go to the tops here because your scholars tell us the context of these passages and the meaning of them. So like tops here, Al-Jalalain. And it says that this waiting period is for women 
who have not menstruated yet because of their young age. And even then, if you don't like Tafsir al Jalalain, we can go to Ibn Kathir. We, we, could, Ibn Kathir says. We, we could pull out the sewer together. What, what number is it? 65 4. 65 verse 4, correct? <clears throat> How, how are you coming to explain a passage that you don't know the actual text of? I was uh, just thinking that. Because I know it in Arabic, like I've read the Quran, obviously, but I do not know the numbers in specific. Does that make sense? Mm. So here, I'll just, I'll just finish. I'll just read Ibn Kathir. No problem. Because he, he knows the meaning of this passage then. Well, if, if you so, really want to stick to one person telling you that, sure, but we can go through it. Go ahead. I mean, I, I, I mean, this is the second one that I've read. We could go through all the thoughts here. <laughs> because, like, I speak Arabic, and I can read it to you from Arabic to English, and, and there's a word that's very, very, like, prominent in that. It says nisa. Nisa means woman. It does not mean children. Nisa simply, nisa simply means female. It can refer to anyone of, any one of the female sex in any age. Mm -hmm. This is why the text yeah. clarifies nisa, who is. No, so, I'm, so I'm we, telling you as an with, Arab. With, nisa with all, means... With all, with all, with all due, with all due respect, yeah. love today, we've we've gone through this before. We've yeah. seen people try to go to the magic Arabic and say, "Well, nisa just simply means woman." It doesn't. It's it means female, and we've done this over and over and over again. So let's just let's simply read what your scholars said, because they not only knew the actual context, they knew the Arabic, and they know what it means. Okay, so, so let's read. Can I show you something? Is that is that okay with you? Hmm. Can I show you something so you can see what I'm talking about? How about I show you what I'm talking about here? Well, because yes, I'm, I'm showing you like... Looking at, looking at Ibn, looking at Ibn Kathir. Like you know them, right? Okay. So, what, so here, first, first prelim, preliminary question, why are you so afraid for us going to Ibn Kathir? Uh, I do not know who is Ibn Kathir, but we could go through you it. Don't, you don't know who Ibn Kathir is? No, I, I actually do not know. <laughs> so how do you know Islam? Um, I follow my my Quran for the most part, and then so, so some Quran, that are that Quran are not... only Muslim? No, so I follow the Quran, and there, if there's some things that are in doubt, that is when I go to tafsirs of the Prophet's sayings to make myself more aware. If that makes sense, for example, like the person you were talking to the person before, <clears throat> saying, "Sorry, it wasn't you? It was your friend," um, saying that the Quran explains everything to detail. That is not true. No. The Quran doesn't tell us exactly how to pray. That comes from the Prophet. So we follow that and how we pray from the Prophet, right? So there's certain things that you have to look at the Quran, certain things you have to see, prefer the detail from the Prophet. Do you know who Ibn Tamiya is? I probably is one of the people that wrote, what do you call it, the, translated the Quran to English or something, or made the meanings of the Quran more visible for people, I guess. No. He's a commentator. So, okay. so here he's 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 one of the most respected scholars in Islam. So this is this is what Ibn Kathir says because he he collects even the commentaries from Ibn Abbas. Okay. So here, listen to what Ibn Kathir says. This is his commentary. Allah the Exalted clarifies the waiting period of the women in menopause, and this is the one whose menstruation has stopped due to her older age. Her idda is three months, instead of three monthly, cy monthly cycles for those who menstruate, which is based upon the ayat in Surah al-Baqarah, see Surah 2, 228, as we read earlier. The same for the young who have not reached the years of menstruation. Their idda is three months, like those in menopause. This is the meaning of the saying. And for those who have no courses, as, as for his saying, and so he says, these were among um, those who have menopause, and he again says for those who are pregnant and those who um, don't have their idda yet. I mean, those who don't have the years of menstruation. It's because they're too young. We saw this in Tafsirat Jalalain. We could see it in Ibn Kathir. We could look through all the others. So all both of these are saying they interpret the verse as saying for those who have not reached the age of puberty. Their idda is three months. I understand what you're saying. Can look, look at this on Google. The first, like, you write Surah 65, verse 4 on Google, and then click on the first thing, which is the Legacy Quran translation and commentators. This is exactly what it says. 
And those for who no longer expect menstruation among your women, if you're endowed, the period is three months, and so on goes there. It does not mention oh, someone who has not reached their period. What's the, what's the, the next, what the, what the next line say? What, is it, what, what does the next line say? If you're endowed when they're in period is three months, and also who have not menstruated, and for those who are pregnant, their term so is... That, 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 you're going too fast. Yeah, so go ahead. Mention, it mentioned the part where it talks about those who have not menstruated, right? Right. So those are the ones who are young. That's literally what it commentated on here. So here's the thing, right? When, when you go and say, oh, he's talking about specifically children. The, the problem is you, you don't, in Arabic, when you translate it, it's still talking about women. It does not talk about kids, right? So, well, no, you, you, you'd be wrong. You'd be wrong because, no, because it's, it's, so it's, here, here, let me, let me explain. Right. Let me explain. Yeah, okay. Because as it, as the text says, it's not talking about women. It's talking about those who have not reached the years of menstruation, as Ibn Kathir says. Yeah, but the, but the problem Ibn is, Ibn here's Kathir, the thing, right? Ibn Kathir knew the meaning of the word Nisa, but, yeah, but he said that right? this is about people who have not reached the years of menstruation. So what are the years of menstruation? But, but that's the thing, what I'm trying to explain to you is that you're talking about this guy, right, in specific, because he's well known in the Muslim world or whatever it is. But the, the problem is there's so many of them. And that's why we have between Muslims themselves, Muslim Shias, Sunnas, uh, there's so many different parts of Islam, right? Or sectors like how you guys have in Christianity, where you have Catholics, Orthodox, and Protestants, and so on. Because every part of the people follows something that they want right and that's where we get some people that are extremely extreme and some people that are extremely lenient right so that that's a problem you're holding on to a person that said this and just because he said this it is the right thing do any of your sons, yeah hello guys sorry do any of your sects of islam disagree with ibn kathir and say that he's not a scholar i do not know say if that he's not a respected scholar no. Or, I, or that or that he's wrong on this right i would imagine there's people that do disagree and people that do agree but the problem yeah. is again you, Bro, i take the just, quran as word to word like one yeah, thing yeah, let's, let's, oh, your let's, point. Let, let's let's try to like because man arguing and who's authoritative yada 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 gets us nowhere we right. understand from islamic understanding everywhere that we go not it's not just one guy that it there it's it's yeah. literally the, the jurisprudence uh Islamic law that understands it this way, that it's talking about children, gives uh, a law on why it's allowed and uses this as an example, as its proof, and Muhammad's example with his marriage with Aisha and his consummation with her. Correct. So these are the proofs that the jurisprudence uses to validate that child relations is allowed in Islam. Paul, if you want to touch on this, you, you can. Correct. So now, now that is a good that is a good rebuttal because it does not relay, re, re, rely on someone said something, right? The right. prophet married a, a, a woman or a younger child, okay? Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. when she only got to her period, that's when he had uh, sexual intercourse she, with she, her. She didn't get to her period. True. No, she that was young. She, I believe I believe she was nine nine years old she when was, they got yeah. married. Yeah. And no, then, no, no. She she was six years old when they got married. She was nine when they consummated. Some, something like sorry, that. Sorry, before we get into Aisha, we need to really solidify the, the Quranic verse, though. The Quranic verse is, is very elaborate, whether you want to be a okay. Quran only or you want to see the tafsir. See, so this yes, is uh, just, just so let I me finish the sentence, please. Just, just so allow me to finish the sentence, please. Yeah, go ahead. I, I, I do want to solidify this point because. It's untrue that is just Ibn Kathir. Every single every single tafsir, you have all the way from Al Tabari to Ibn Kathir. So there isn't a tafsir that I have looked at. Sorry, just allow me, please. So there isn't a single tafsir that I actually have read that didn't include children in the Islamic understanding of children. So that being said. We're not picking Ibn Kathir precisely. You can pick any tafsir, any tafsir you want. At the end of the day, they all include children. And then that was applicable. Tafsir upe mulu asya boy. Kima ani bin tafsir tafsir wa tafsir upe mukal asya boy. What is this guy talking about now? What is he saying? 
I don't know if he knows he's unmuted or not. Go ahead, Paul. Okay, so um, the other thing is, it was put into practice. Yes, uh, Muhammad is the first one that put it in practice as a Muslim. And then, but we see it throughout the history of Islam was put into practice until our modern day history was put into practice. And we see scholars on television today saying it is okay as long as the girl can handle it. 